So let's talk about setting up your Instagram bio or setting up your bio in general. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. So writing a good Instagram bio might seem straightforward, but it actually requires some strategy and creativity. According to researchers, within the first seven seconds of meeting you, people will have a solid impression of who you are, and it can be even shorter online. So if you're using Instagram for business, which you should be, first impressions don't just apply to -to face-to-face interactions, but they also apply to every aspect of the online world, starting from when you create a website down to your social media presence. When it comes to your Instagram, your bio is one of the only places to truly control how you're perceived by potential clients. So with just 150 characters to use, it's so important to make every word count. So when we're talking about our Instagram bio, we want to start by going to the edit profile section. And here are some useful tips for your best and brightest face to shine through from your profile picture to links, hashtags, call to actions, and many other elements that make up a good Instagram bio. So first I want to start by saying, that when I actually go to people's Instagram, when it comes to finding new stylists in general, I am always so surprised some of the information that's missing to really get to know the person that I'm looking at. So you wanna make sure one, that you have a professional photo of you as your actual picture. People wanna see who you are and what you look like, and they want to know who they're going to. So having a professional picture of you is going to start that trust building process that clients need to choose you as a hairstylist. Number two, you wanna optimize your name for the Instagram search. So you need to have your name in the area that's actually searched for on Instagram. And that is the area that's actually listed under your name. And when people type in your name to look for you, then you will pop up automatically. We don't want people to not be able to find you. So you really need to make sure that either your handle or your search area has your name included. And you also want to make sure that your handle, if you're not using your name, is something that is geared towards what you love doing. Um, if it's your specialty, if it's your location, if it's uh, you know what you want to be in the beauty industry, it should definitely be something related to that. Then we're gonna talk about your link. You really wanna make sure your link counts. So I recommend setting up a mini website through Milkshake, which we're gonna go over in our next lesson. And this will allow you to optimize that link so clients can find the most amount of information about you in a very short amount of time, which is so important because people are very, very quick to switch to other areas of stimulation and get very distracted. So you really wanna make sure whatever you're utilizing for your link really brings them in and captures their attention. Number four is your location. So many stylists do not put their location. And if a stylist does not put their location, it's gonna be very difficult for people to find out where you are. So you always wanna put your location in either your bio or um, put your location in some area of your profile so that people know if you are actually a good fit for them because you're in their area. And you wanna know that every single word that you put in your bio matters. So your bio should be captivating and it should tell your audience the problem that you solve. So that could be something along the lines of, I change women's lives with blending services and transformations. I build confidence with balayage so that people really know how you stand out and what you offer and what they can expect from you and what results you drive. You also wanna know that you answer the very basics. Um, So whatever that is for you, 
is um, something that you need to include in the bio and you want to make sure that you think like a search engine when clients are looking for a new stylist they're going to search the area they may search your name or um, who you are if it's a referral they're going to search what they want like balayage shadow root extensions so really make sure that whatever you have in your bio is something that they can easily search for and find and then of course you want to make sure that you have a call to action which is you know what is the next step to move forward with the booking process with you and how to contact you so how you choose to directly contact with your clients should stay the same it should either be email if it's direct message that's fine do you want them to call the salon but your call to action is going to tell them what to do so you know that looks like um, something along the lines of to book with me please you know please direct message me your information to move forward to get into my schedule please call the salon directly so that's going to give them instructions on how to move forward with you which is so important your bio is your first impression so know that it is so important the pictures what you say what your feed looks like this is all a part of your funnel and this is what's going to attract the people that are going to sit in your chair so make sure that you are being thoughtful that you are using strategy and that you have some sort of system behind or idea behind what you're putting in these areas so that you can actually drive clients to your chair all right thanks for learning and let us know if you have any questions